on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Doctor, what's the meaning of this? Marcus. Whatever do you mean? Why are my brothers in chains? Well, William is attacked at a local village. Slaughtered them. Turned some, but we took care of that. I understand that, but what about Henry? Well, we can't allow him to turn into something worse. Worse? Why you? We saw what your brother has become. We know what you are, but him? What? He's just normal. Wrong. He still shares your blood. What would happen if something far more deadly bit him? What? Think of the carnage that would happen if he himself were bitten by a wolf or something more deadly. But the odds of that happening, he's careful, unlike me and William. True. Very true. However, we can't risk it. Henry, please tell me what's going on. Why are your friends doing this? They're scared. Release him! No. We can't allow him to roam freely of without a proper supervision. He doesn't need to be supervised. He just needs to be alone. Just just leave him alone. Can't do that. I am sorry, but yeah, I can't. For a future of everyone, I cannot risk your brother to roam free. Either of them. You are different. Your brother is a, William has already forfeited his humanity. As did you, Victor. <laughs> yeah. But your brother Henry, on the other hand, he's... He's still corruptible. It's not worth the risk. No buts. I've spoken. Now leave before we have to detain you. Henry, please don't let them do this. Don't let them lock us away. I know William has done some very questionable things, but he's still a good person. I I know, but Victor, you're stronger than Victor. But he has an army. And you have me and William. And father, right? Uh, 
You do know where Dad is, don't you? Marcus? I don't. You lost him. Uh, he disappeared. I know not where he, he resides. Do you picture? No, no, I... At least I don't think so, I... Please don't let them do this. Tell them how careful I am. I did. Tell them I would never hurt anyone. They don't believe my words. Oh, they only know the carnage that Williams caused. He's lost his mind. But he's still our brother. They'll kill him. No, no, no. They... They wouldn't. They would. I'll... I'll reason with him. William or Victor? Victor. So far, he's the only one that holds all the cards. Please, just, I don't want to die here. You won't. Trust me. I, I'll make sure that you, you won't. I'll protect both you and William. Why did this have to happen? Why did you two have to get bitten? I am so sorry this happened. I never meant for any of this. I know. But that doesn't change the fact that I am in chains and being convicted of things I have even done or being feared. What would Dad say? What if William did have his mind? You think he would allow this to happen to you or me? I can't stand up against an army. I know. And it's not it's not really completely your fault. You you had no choice. You had to find some way to at least keep tabs on William. He's always been a troublemaker, huh? Yeah. But, brother, we... Can you at least promise me something? What? Don't. Let them kill him? Uh, what? If you can't save me and him, at least have him be spared. He has no control over himself. The fear they have for me is understandable. If I get bitten by something more powerful than a wolf, it could be disastrous for not only the bats or the wolves, but humanity as a whole. But I... I know. You can still come visit me until the decision is made, right? Yes. Thank you. As Marcus leaves Izuku in the dungeon, <sighs> Victor. 
Richter. Mm. Yes. Uh, I'm here to hear of your methods to ensure William and Izuku's involvement or interference will not hinder your ambitions. Very good. I say we imprison them for all eternity. What? I've had a smith create a special type of containment that will prove very useful. What's going to stop them from breaking out? That's the thing. That would be very difficult to do if they have any real means to move. So, what you're saying is, I shall lock them in a confined space. Tight enough so movement is near to impossible. They'll barely be able to wiggle their toes and fingers, let alone their whole bodies. And what of the keys? That will be my the uh, task. I shall keep an eye on them. Make sure they don't fall into any problematic hands. Like mine? Yes. So, what do you think? So you won't kill them? No. I won't. You have my word. Very well. I accept these terms. And you are not to visit them or break them out. That's possible. No. But I saw you were curious. Come. We must make sure that we acquire the correct measurements. As soon as you do learn, well, I guess his name is Henry here. Yeah, he'll be named Zuku later on for my uh, sanity. Yeah. So it's pretty much like me going to sleep, huh? Yes. In a way, you will have your moments of waking up. But. My power? Yes, you are far stronger than any human we ever could have uh, imagined. Damn it. It's what never happened if you guys be more careful. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a kick in the pants? Yes, it very much is. I'm sorry this had to be like this, Henry. Yeah. You never expected this to happen. Hell, this probably wouldn't have happened if, you know, William didn't lose his absolute mind, you know? <sighs> But, it would be a good idea to let us out every now and again, don't you think? What? Yeah, you do plan on breaking us out as soon as you... Wait, you, you, you are... You, you, 
You are gonna free us. Aren't you? Your sentence. Your imprisonment is supposed to last for eternity. <laughs> what? Me and William are supposed to stay in that confined space forever. Yes. And what if the the tools of our freedom? Victor saw to it that only he and a select few that he trusts actually has the means to free either one of you. Possibly for execution if Victor sees it necessary. Uh, what? So you're saying if he gets me out of the way long enough he will He will most likely go to kill you. And he knows that as long as he has his army of vampires backing him, I have no real ways to go against him. Despite how strong I am, I have limits as well. <sighs> Is William still sleeping? Yes. <sighs> well, this sucks. Uh, did you really just make that? Ugh. Don't get your bats in a twist. What? I'm trying out some new things called jokes. I think you need to work on your material. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I suppose I do. Well, at the very least, I'll have plenty of time to work on it now, won't I? Yes. Again, I'm sorry that things had to end like this. Do know. I have considered just turning you. Yeah. But what happened to that? Victor would have lost his mind. And I'm pretty sure he would have refused. Hmm. You damn right. Sorry, bro, but, um. Blood isn't really something I would want to integrate into my diet. <laughs> you. Yeah. I really am going to miss you. But whenever I am able, I'll. I'll do what I can to find a way to free you, no matter how long it takes. It's a promise? Yes. It's promise. Hey, how about this? If I find a way to get out, I'll save William and come for you. Then we could take out Victor and his little nest of vamps together. That was how sound. Mm. You're crazy. Hey. Yeah, that may be true, but I'm also your brother. So what's that say about you? Cause I'm the brother of a crazy person. <laughs> anyway, see you whenever I can, I guess. Right. So, this escape plan of yours do you think it would actually work? I have no idea. Uh, if anything, I, it really banks on how, how lucky I actually am. Well, I guess uh, the next question should be... Uh, 
Do you feel lucky? Hmm? Do you feel lucky? Well, do you? <laughs> yeah, like that's never gonna get old.